Hey there guys, how are you all doing? This is your Vbro from TechTweak team and so today I'll be doing the video of uh, installing Phoenix OS ROC onto your system. Well, it works for any version of Phoenix ROC, it doesn't matter which version of Phoenix you are using, maybe the older version or the newer version. So for this, you will be needing few files. So first thing, you that's the most important thing, is the Phoenix OS uh, official installer. So you can go, uh, you can download this one, uh, this uh, setup file from the link in the description. So I'll be putting that up. And along with that, you'll be needing the version of Phoenix o ROC that you need. Uh, for this video purpose, I have the Veiler 2, which is the latest version. And also with that, the third app that you'll be needing is the Explorer++. And the fourth app that you need is this one, the EXT2 Volume Manager. Don't worry, all these links will be in the description, so you don't need to worry. So first and foremost, um, process is to install Phoenix OS official version over into your system. And yes guys, this is very important. If you already have Phoenix OS installed, it won't work. So just back up all your apps and stuff like that, apps and files. And then you need to un uninstall Phoenix OS, uh, the official one, and reinstall it. A fresh code of installation is needed. Hit install and choose the hard drive you want. And also make sure the amount of um, space that you need should be around 16 gigabytes because that's the most and um, most handsome um, storage capacity. If you use 8 gigabytes, it will be less one day or the other. After installing Phoenix OS, uh, uh, for make sure that, uh, for example, you are here. Like I have installed in C Drive Phoenix OS, and these are the files that you look at. So these are really important. Okay, so we'll minimize this, and then we're gonna be double clicking on the Phoenix ROC version. So we get an ISO file. We'll be just extracting it up, and for extraction, you need WinRAR. So if you don't have WinRAR, this won't work. Make sure you have installed WinRAR and it's working properly. And after you're done um, extracting that uh, ISO file, uh, what you can just delete uh, the previous version as well. So we'll just delete that. And this is the ISO file and we'll right click on it and just hit open with WinRAR. And once you have done that, so these are the files that you will look at. So you don't need to um, copy, like select each and every file. Just select what I have selected. So select image, system.image. Let me select it right now. Select this one, system.image, RAM disk, kernel, install in, I, I don't know, the super user file and this one total it should be uh okay sorry you don't need this one we need this five files five files you can just um pause this video and just take a look at all these files that you'll be needing uh one two three four and five hit extract go to the place where you have installed phoenix os hit okay it will ask you to override and you just need to press yes to all i already done this so i will be not pressing yes to all because it will just ruin the whole uh, my system so i'll just cancel it. but you have to select yes to all because you are installing it first time and after you have um replaced those files with these five files uh you just need to close this thing up and then uh like the way I said, you need the EXT2 volume manager software. Install it over into your system. And after that, you just need to open that software up. And once you have opened, so this uh, thing might be different for people who have legacy BIOS and UEFI. So this process that I'm showing you is for UEFI. If you don't know what legacy and UEFI means, then I think you should need to do some research about that. And this video is only working for UEFI. So for the UEFI system, if you don't know what UEFI is, uh, basically when you are opening this volume manager, if you see a partition with FAT32, 
and the size will be around 200 to 100 megabytes. Um, then you have UEFI uh, partition system. Uh, as you can see, it says EFI partition, system partition. So we'll select the one with FAT32, right click on it and hit assign driver letter. Once you're done this, it will just, and you can see that the driver letter is F. So we know that F is a thing. And now we need the third um, app that is the Explorer Plus Plus. We'll right click on it, run as administrator. And after running as administrator, you need to go to your C drive where you've installed Phoenix OS. And then you need to select this file. And along with that, you need to select the kernel file. Once you've copy, uh, selected those, right click on them, hit copy, go to your F drive go to the EFI folder and then go to Phoenix OS folder there you will see there will be two of the files already right click on it and paste it will ask for replacement hit replace once you are done replacing you're good to go you just need to close everything up reboot your system and try booting up into Phoenix OS and it will work if it doesn't work for the first time you select Phoenix OS and if the system is rebooting, don't worry. Try booting it again. Try selecting Phoenix OS again and try booting and it will boot. And that's pretty much it. And if you are using legacy BIOS and if you're still watching this video, and if you don't see that a system 32, FAT32, I'm sorry, FAT32 partition, that is the F partition that I'm talking about. If you don't see that in the ext volume manager don't uh, worry the last step that i showed you to uh, replace those two files uh, over into my um, f drive just skip that process skip that step and try booting the phoenix os without replacing those two files it should work it has worked for a lot of users it might work for you and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the quick, easy way to um, do this, like install Phoenix OS, ROC. It is same for all the versions. So I made a video before, but I'm making the video again. And that's pretty much it. If you got any queries, you know how to reach me. Comment down below. If you got any tips and tricks, do let me know. And that's pretty much it. This is Vibrio signing out and have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you.